given a series of product versions and also an API is bad version, which returns true or false, you are asked to find the very first bad version. And also keep in mind, you should minimize the number of API calls to this operation. How can you do that? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through Lear Code Problem 278, first bad version. Let's go through the problem description first. You're a product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product. Unfortunately, the latest version of your product fails the quality check. Since each version is developed on top of the previous version, all of the versions after bad version are also considered bad. Suppose you have n versions, basically from 1 to n, and you want to find the first, the very first bad one which causes all of the following ones to be bad. You are given an API bool is bad version, version, which takes the version parameter, which is basically just an integer, which stands for the version number. We'll return whether this version is bad or not. Implement a function to find the very first bad version. You should minimize the number of calls to this API. For example, we're given n is equal to 5, and version 4 is the very first bad one. How can we reach that conclusion? That is because we, after these three API calls, we can figure that out. So first we call is bad version 3, we, we check if version 3 is bad or not. And this API gives us false, which means version 3 is not a bad version. And then we check version 5, which is the last which is the last one, which is n, right? And then which gives us 5 is the bad version. And then between 3 and 5, we're missing a 4. So because it's asking us to find the very first bad version, of, so we want to check whether 4 is bad or not. Because if 4 it is the case, 4 is before 5, so we should return 4 in this case. Because it says since each version is developed based on the previous version, which means if 4 is bad, 5, 6, 7, everything after 4 is also bad. So what we wanted to find is the very first one. In this case, a very natural idea that should come into our mind is that binary search. What we can do is that we can always check the middle point. Say from 1 to 5, we check 3. If we check the middle point, if this one is bad, we can directly drop the second half, which means because we know all of the second half, all of them are bad. So the first version will not come out of the second half. And then we narrow, we just cut the entire array by half. Now, in the second iteration, we only need to check the very first half, right? Now we can keep doing this until we find the very first bad version. Right before the first bad version, that means that version is good. By applying binary search to this problem, we are, we are meeting the problem requirement here, which is you should minimize the number of calls to this API. The time complexity for this algorithm is going to be O log N because this is binary search. Now let's put the idea into the actual code. Let's see. For binary search, it's always it's sorted, and we always have a left and a right pointer. You can call it whatever you want, min or max, left or right. My habit is to call it left and right. So in this case, since it begins from 1, not 0, 1 to n, not 0 to n minus 1. So we'll have left equals to 1, and right equals to, equals to n. While, we'll have a while loop, while left is smaller than Right, well, we'll always find the middle one and then use the middle one to call the is bad version API to check if the mid middle one is a bad version. Okay, this is the boilerplate code. We'll just use left plus right minus, minus left divided by two. A common pitfall is that if another way to uh, calculate mid is just a left plus or right and then divided by two, right? This one is going to cause time limited exception because this one potentially it could left plus the right. This one could go over the max value of integer in Java or in other languages, which is going to end up in infinite loop. That's why we always prefer to use this one. Mathematically, this one is exactly equivalent to this one, but this one could avoid integer overflow because we do the subtraction first and then we do plus. All right, with that said, we're clear. What we'll do then is if we'll call this API, if this one is bad, that means everything after this is also bad. So the very first bad version, as we just described, will not come out of the later half. So what we will do in this case is that we'll put, we'll assign mid to be the right boundary. 
then we only need to check left to right, the new right boundary here, right? Otherwise, what's else? Else means that this mid is already a bad version. So what we can do is that we will use mid plus one. Else means that this mid index is not the bad version, which means it's still a good version. So everything before that, before this midpoint from left to mid is all good. All of them are good. So we can discard this half. Then we'll assign mid plus one to be the new left because mid is still good. We don't need to care about that. And then we'll mid plus one to be the new left. We'll care about the new left to the right. This portion, this half, we should, we should continue to loop through to do binary search. And then in the end, we can just return either left or right. This is the entire algorithm. Now let's hit submit and see. You can either, you can either submit, uh, you can either return left, accept it. Uh, so we return left here, or you can also return right. Either case, that's fine because the break, uh, the break case is left smaller than right. As long as left is smaller than right, we will just keep looping. So left and right in the end, when we break out, it's going to be equal. So this is the entire algorithm. Um, time complexity, again, it's going to be O log N because this is binary search and we have minimized the number of API calls. This is the solution for this problem. I hope this video helps you make sense of this problem and solution. If you do, just do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. Right now, we're going through sorting and searching. After this, we'll go through dynamic programming and then different combinations of data structures and algorithms to help people better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews. Or if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, just comment down in the comment section below. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.